If you have to be outside, the bitter cold is just plain brutal. Many are heating warnings, as you just saw, to stay inside, but some are braving it outside with single digit temperatures. News 8's Josh Scheinbloom continues our team coverage from Middletown tonight. Josh? Good evening. Yeah, it certainly is a cold one. We're coming to you live uh, this evening from Main Street in Middletown, where there is a parking ban in effect. And at least that seems to be a good thing because there is a lot out here to still clean up. Now, we thought we might have uh, gotten a little bit lucky just a couple hours ago, but just look at the amount of snow that has fallen in that short period of time. Now, this is uh, the light, fluffy stuff. It's the stuff that you want. If you're a skier, it's very good to go skiing. And, and the reason I know that, I've seen some guy here just moments ago. He was cross-country skiing here on Main Street. I don't know if that's a first for Middletown, but it was certainly something very interesting to see. Now, when we talked with folks earlier today, they said it wasn't so much the snow that was concerning to them, but rather these frigid temperatures. The thing that does it for me is to wear, uh, I guess, long underwear underneath all my clothes. The Having the extra layer just really cuts out a lot of the wind chill for me. Bundle up, definitely. It's going to be cold. Snow boots, you know, make sure you're careful walking because it's still slippery and you can fall. Wear warm clothes, you know, sweatshirts, sweaters, anything that'll keep you warm. Now, if you are here in the Middletown area and you are still in need of a warm place to go, the city of Middletown has set up a number of warming stations. Those are over at the police station, City Hall, as well as the Russell Library. They'll let you in. They'll let you warm up. And believe me, we've only been standing out here for just a few moments, and I can tell you it is very, very cold. For now, we're live in Middletown. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.